Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Madison and this is Christian and today we're very excited because we're getting into Peacemaker episode four for you guys. Now the last episode was pretty cool. You know, we learned that the butterflies are actually a butterfly creature that is like basically invaded the earth and just body snatched a bunch of people. So we're hoping in this next episode we can learn more about them, but we don't have too much time to record today. So I think we're just gonna get right into it. Thank you guys for joining us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, his oh, toe, gross. His toe. <laughs> so after the butterfly flew out of Goff's head, what happened to him? We shot it. Just a little part. Would have been nice to have captured it. Did he? I guess he did it off off camera. Hmm. Fall over all the time and look stupid. Everyone will laugh at you. Who's gonna laugh at you for falling over because you don't have a toe? <laughs> 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 oh my god. So that's like the knuckle of the pinky toe, but if you just lose your pinky. Oh, it's the. Oh, interesting. Oh shit. <laughs> Why did he pass out? They were gonna just they execute both of, him. <laughs> yeah, both of them. Stop walking, like wrap it up or something. I know. You, know? <laughs> you okay to drive now? Yeah. Pop out on that day by go through those boxes from the golf residence. See if there's any Dang, so they just like accepted vigilante into the team? Yeah. <laughs> he just brought himself. Important things about killing someone to me is a fucking dub of peace on the weapon. That's bullshit and you know it. You also told me to kill kids. You didn't say why. Yeah, okay, one was homely. That didn't make it better, it made it worse. <laughs> it made it worse. <laughs> But I'm not fucking killing kids just because you say so. You sure? That's all it is. See, I don't think it is. Yeah. Well, I guess him now, too. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> then sit down. <laughs> if he talks, he could ruin everything. I want some mm. of time at Wendy's restaurant. Does he know you need a restaurant? No matter either, lad. That's his power. He can eat anything. <laughs> the guy's a fucking his name is Matt Aiden, isn't it? Yeah, with all that's going on, why are you so interested in him? Because no. <laughs> you keep bringing him <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> so you're okay with making that poor bastard's last minute of life the worst suffering imaginable because you're too much of a coward to put him out of his misery. But you won't eat a fucking fish. Got it. I do eat fish. Yeah, I was about to say. We don't eat pork. I don't. Bones. I was just about to say, <laughs> yeah. And, um... Don't worry about hardcore. She doesn't really like anybody. Yeah, I just gotta show her and learn that I got what it takes, I guess. Well, I got what it takes. Stomped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny, oh my god. Uh, With a crowbar. Yeah. He left that part out. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck with John Economist, motherfucker. <laughs> He's still relishing in it. I know, yeah. Listen, uh, I've been meaning to thank you for allowing me to be tortured last night. <laughs> You're welcome. Supporting me and helping me to become the best me that I could be. Someone who doesn't spill the beans <laughs> while being electrocuted and having half his toe cut off. You seem to be walking okay. Well, I'll probably never walk as good again. <laughs> <laughs> or your dad is a racist whack job. Oh yeah? Your dad left your mom for another dude. Hey. He did? Yeah, and they're deeply in love. I doubt it. <laughs> you know, I think he's just pretending to be gay to get away from you. Okay, maybe, but what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to realize he got arrested. Oh, yeah, true. He doesn't know about all that. Oh, he's going to tell him. The old man. What? There's a missing gorilla? Zoo officials say they have no idea how the gorilla was stolen. It was stolen? Oh, which one did he pick? X ray vision. Gra she... Grab a couple more. <laughs> you why never would, know what you'll need. Why wouldn't you put it all, all the powers into one helmet? <laughs> he just did exactly what you said. Hell yeah. Oh. 
Oh. oh. Is that his? That's his dad's. Yeah, his dad's. Duck in a human costume. The sizes are completely incompatible. I don't know. Ducks are sneaky, I guess. I guess that's the whole point of the phrase. That and they could give two shits about their best friend. <laughs> Still <laughs> about the pinky toe. You said you were a superhero like Batman. Do you have a career of super villains? <laughs> He's giving him shit. <laughs> but you're not a superhero after all. Oh. Don't hit this little old man. Batman doesn't kill people. Because he's a pussy. He's a dark creature of the night. He's a dark creature of the night. He's <laughs> dressed like clowns and throws them in prison. So they can break out of prison and then murder more people. <laughs> I get murdered by being too much of a candy ass. Not to kill these fools who clearly need to be smoked once and for all, you wrinkly, sharp pay looking demented infested. <laughs> An attitude like that, you're definitely a supervillain. You're gonna end up in jail with your father. Oh, yeah, see, he told him. No, my dad's in jail, I'm going to see him. Smith, I don't think that's wise. Oh, yeah, well, fuck you, man. You people only fucking care about yourselves anyway. Why would he go and see him? I mean, I guess, yeah, Peacemaker cares about him. Oh, he thinks he said something. Fuck you. <laughs> He's like, let me pretend like I'm doing something else. Yeah. Even though I know he's a racist. Shouldn't you kill him then? No! <laughs> Why not? Because I love him. Oh. <laughs> it like doesn't compute with him. <laughs> he's like, what? Sure, yeah. No, I mean, my dad never made me anything. Too busy off pretending to be gay just to get away from me. <laughs> Your lack of a resume made me hesitant to bring you onto this team. But Amanda Waller insisted you were ready. Prove me right. Well, go. Yeah, why did. I guess I, I really want to know why Waller put her on this mission. Why would she think she was ready for something like this, you know? I don't know, yeah. She didn't seem ready. Oh. Oh my god, is he gonna bust out? <laughs> he looks like he's hooked up to something. Oh, he is gonna bust oh, out. Oh no. <laughs> he's warming up. Good dad is not a good man. Not to the world and especially not to you. Yeah, I think he just feels like a little guilty and he wants, you know, to the go family. see him. Come on, peacemaker, growth. Leave him there. Well, he has to do what he has to do, I guess. I take it you're vigilante. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have his shit on. You sound like him. <laughs> but yeah, this this is more my real voice. Mm-hmm. Why are you limping? Snowboarding accident! <laughs> All I gotta do is go to these assholes and say, hey, check the fingerprints, they don't match. I know. I saw you come out of your mother's... Wait, so he wants to be there? I don't know, yeah. My feelings for you, not like your brother. Him, I fucking loved. But you, you were just a big Oh, so his brother's dead? I think so. Like a guy, and like most time goes on. An individual you don't like... You, you, you learn to like. You're comparing yourself to a chode. <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger than me. It's bigger than you. I'm just asking for once. Just make the sacrifice. You don't know, bro, like you've always been. God, he's so rude. I'm no rat, but the first chance I get, I'm spilling everything. I mean, be a jerk kid. Technically, that exactly makes you a rat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please just factually get the fuck out of my sight. My use for you is over. Dodge! Open it up! My use for you? Bro, fuck your dad, Peacemaker. Just leave his ass there. Now, Chris, he has a big heart, so he wants to find something to love there, but there, there is nothing to love yeah. inside of that man. 
Peacemaker's gonna see it soon enough. I just wish there was some way he would just... Go away. Oh, she's saying she's something She's asking to him? him to kill his dad? He said, I gotta go do something. Oh, God. <laughs> Vigilante. Vigilante? That was vigilante? That was vigilante? <laughs> <laughs> Burns said I gotta keep eyes on vigilante. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine, too. Is vigilante gonna go back and kill him? I think he might try. Hmm. And I think you're the, the good kind of joke. <laughs> Oh shit, here we go. Mm. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? Is he gonna break the window He's open? He's gonna try to throw it through the window? <laughs> Did he forget he's not in his <laughs> vigilante? Oh, is he's getting himself arrested. arrested so that he goes in? Oh shit. Uh oh, he's behind the door? He's above? Oh, he's above. That'd be the perfect spot for him. Maybe he just left. True. Next level fucked, okay? I checked the restraints. They were tight. I don't know how the fuck he got loose. Oh. oh. He's eating. Oh, he's always <laughs> eating. What is happening? Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. It destroyed the whole desk. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai, she called him. Oh, my God. Hallway window. Oh man, he probably got away. Yeah! <laughs> he was above <laughs> there. <laughs> oh oh <shit>. God! <laughs> you have a weird policy, bud. <laughs> <laughs> we were sure, shrimp. Oh my gosh. Oh. You have a weird bubbly shaped body. Now that's all I can see. I have no idea. My Ooh. Eyes, they're not what you think. They are. Oh, what? Who shot him? What? What? <gasps> She that did that on sus. purpose. Yeah. Fuck! I've never killed a man before. Oh, you still have it. Oh! These martial artists. He's alive. He said these martial artists are hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! The butterflies, is that what you think? They're. Hmm. Thanks. Yeah, that's interesting. I want to know what he was going to say. She she did it to stop him, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I think he's like a kid in a candy store. Mm-hmm. This is as many people as he can kill in there. Well, he doesn't want to kill him as himself, because then he'll get caught. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, shit. What's he going to do about his dad, then? He's going to have to do it secretly. Mm, true. I think it's just fun for him because he knows he's put some of them away, you know, as vigilante. Oh, he kept oh, it. Oh, he kept it. I told you he didn't, he didn't do anything off camera. And I was like, did he though? That seems so sus. He kept some of that like honey stuff too, that like goo. Mm-hmm. None of this sits right with me. First, I manipulated 
vigilante into going into prison and killing Peacemaker's father, and now this. Back up, what? She's like, wait, what? Turn around, one of you's doing something fucked up. Oh my gosh! Classic pool. Classic pool. It's a dingus. But they always triumph in the end. But they always. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's just he claims it eagerly that that's his best friend. You said best friend, okay? I'm just making sure we're all on the same page. And <laughs> someone here thinks that Adebayo convinced eagerly to kill peacemakers. <laughs> <laughs> Chase, the vigilante. That's him. Isn't he our bus boy at Fennel Fields? Oh, she remembered, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the first fucking rule. Keep your eye on your goddamn opponent. <laughs> 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 he just oh, exploded God. himself. <laughs> Let's start with, uh, I don't know. Let's each say something that we're grateful for that black people have contributed to American culture. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, I'll go first. I'm grateful the black people gave us rock and roll music. Winners. Oh, he's trying to piss them off. I know. <laughs> and then white redneck music would just sound like, well, what it sounded like for black people, which was the wet, sloppy sounds of fucking your sister. Oh, <laughs> got him. <laughs> fucking tiki torch carrying slops from the Goonies looking pieces of shit wants to go next. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite contribution to black American culture was all the black guys who fucked your mom in the ass while you watched from the closet jerking off. Oh! Oh my god, let's go, vigilante! <laughs> that guy had a stink on him. <laughs> Dude. Dude! Oh, his toe! Yo, the area started! This dude did nothing! You're a bad dad. I need to talk to Detective Shaw! Oh, shit. He shouldn't have said you're a bad dad. Now he knows why he's there. Mm -hmm. What? What's it say in my file about what my dad did when I was a kid? What? Adebayo just said there was some stuff in there about me and my dad when I was a kid. Oh, maybe it's stuff he doesn't even remember? Yeah. Or he, like, locked it away? Mm-hmm. It says that he trained you to kill from when you were very young. And it says that your brother died under mysterious circumstances and that you were involved in it. What? Oh, maybe his dad, like, pitted on him. Thanks. That's it. No, your tits look stellar in that shirt. I'm saying that as a compliment. That's not in a sexist way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, so his brother died and he's somehow responsible for that? She said he was involved. Maybe not responsible, involved. but he, yeah, he had some part in it. Free to go. Me? Yeah. I guess you got friends in high places. Yes. Oh, yeah, they got him out. Are they trying to keep him alive, right? To, like, find out what he knows? I guess so, yeah. I mean, that would be smart, right? You wouldn't want to kill him. Because it seems like he knew. Well, now I'm worried out of bio will just shoot him again next time he's about to talk. I know, because that seemed too sus. Oh, is it her mom? No, oh, it's, it's her wife. I'm here to take you home. Get in. Dang, he was really going to go to prison for Peacemaker like that and kill his dad. Yeah. That's a real friend. Is that Peacemaker or? That's I think that's Little Peacemaker. So he had him killing people when he was like super young. Yeah. That mole is the real crime. Oh yeah. Equally, he's like, "Are you okay, my dude?" Oh, there's his oh, brother. Oh, that was his brother. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why he likes this music so much. Or like this era of music, you know? Oh, what?
Oh my gosh. So his brother died really young. I thought mm -hmm. he was older. Same. Bottling company. Mm-hmm. So the butterflies are bottling something? They're putting it in a drink. Yeah. Great. I'll be right over. Because that's where he told him to run to. The yeah. senator told the uh, judo master. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. What? Is he a butterfly or something? No. No. What? Shit. When did he become a butterfly? This whole time, I guess. So why has he been doing this? Killing his own kind. Has he been it this whole time? Oh, you think maybe when they went in there, he got one in him? Yeah. Maybe. I don't even know any of this. Vigilante, you have a lot of fucking stupid ideas. <laughs> Put a duck in a human head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You've ever fucking had. And it's offensive to me. Because I have a soul. It's offensive to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I guess that was like an alternate version of that take. Yeah. It seems like they let them kind of just ad lib a lot. Yeah. I don't think that's what the script said, you know? I think that's pretty cool too. It, it makes for some good scenes. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, now Mern is a butterfly. You know so, what? Yeah, either he's been one this whole time or I, I guess when they went to that house. I don't know, dude, because like, one. it's funny when he was sitting on the couch just by himself, I was like, why is he sitting there so weird? Yeah, when they showed him the first time, I was like, that's kind of weird. He's just sitting there like emotionless. And then I was like, well, Mern is emotionless. He's, he was literally talking about that, you know, uh, with Economos. And he was like, yeah, you know, I don't really express my feelings. You notice how he's always gone, though? Like, even since the beginning, he's always like gone. somewhere else. And he always shows up. He's like, what's up, team? Blah, 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 blah. And then he'll leave again. Yeah. Even at the start of this episode. That's exactly what he did. Everyone was there and he showed up later and then walked in. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, what is he doing all the times he's gone, you know? So either, yeah, he's been a butterfly this whole time or it happened when they were in the house. And then there was the whole part with Judo Master where he was like, you don't know what the butterflies are yet. You don't understand. And then Adebayo shot him. There's just like a lot of stuff that had me scratching my head in this Yeah, moment. it just seemed really sus that she shot him right at that moment too, because I Especially mean, since we know like how she feels about shooting people. She hadn't even shot at anyone before then. So for her to, in that moment, like choose like, okay, this is like, I'm gonna finally do it. And it didn't really seem like she hesitated. Hmm. I mean, she only shot him once. I feel like maybe it might be a red herring. It might be a red herring for us. Like, oh, she she must know about it because she shot him right at this moment. That's why the timing of it is so sus to me because mm -hmm. she had that whole fight they were fighting. She could have shot him. It wasn't until he was saying, you don't know what the butterflies are. They're actually, and then she shot him. That's true. And if you remember, Waller told her, I think in episode one or two, like, you had, like you're special. Like, I put you on this mission for a reason now we know the reason isn't because she's a super like spy badass like james bond right because obviously that's not that's not her personality that's not who she is she's having trouble just shooting that one guy you know and he's not even dead so right. i'm thinking the reason she's on the team is something more to do with something special about her not necessarily like her skill set you know mm, okay so she i'm just expecting be... a twist now that we got that mern twist at the end you know true i'm expecting a twist uh with leota for sure because there's something going on there like i mean she shot a uh, judo master like right when he was talking about that so i don't know it does seem pretty sus i'm really curious about mern now go back and think about the things he said he told John that one time, Economist, he was like, oh, you think I'm some little girly man needs a blanket? Like, that's how I used to think. Is he talking about him himself or was he talking about, or was that the, the, the creature talking? Oh. But then he also brought up, when they were talking about the, the Berenstein Bears, where they were saying like, it's Berenstein. And he was like, no, it's it's Berenstein Bears. And she was like, no, I, I don't want to say that you're wrong, sir, but like, you're wrong about this. Like, it's, it's Berenstein. That struck me as like a human who's yes. like been around. A, a, an alien wouldn't know the difference, right? No, an alien wouldn't unless they've been here that long. Yeah, maybe either he's been a, a butterfly for a long time or maybe he got the butterfly when they went to the house. Yeah, because we brought this up last episode. You know, we don't know when the butterflies got to Earth, right? Like this 
could have been going on while Peacemaker was in the hospital. Like it could have been for that nine month stretch that they started taking over, or this could have been going on for a long time and we just noticed it now. So that will be important to find out is like when the butterflies got here. And this seems like a crazy important mission. He was like, it's just us four or whatever against, against an alien invasion. We can't get some Suicide Squad members or something. Like, I'm not yeah. saying we have to call Superman or Batman or anything, but like, get some Suicide Squad people. Like, but that's expendable. true. Like, why is this mission on the DLDL? Especially if it's like a worldwide thing. Yeah. Right? Like, countries would rally together to try and get rid of it. But what I'm saying is, is like, why is it so secretive? And then, but also so important at the same time. But yet you're not looking for every butterfly. You were only looking for that one senator at one point. You know what I it's mean? It's not like aliens are like some big secret anymore or anything like that. Because no. Starro happened in this universe and everybody saw that. You yeah. Know? So, I mean, aliens, we know they're here. So, I don't know, dude. This next episode, I feel like is going to be intense. I can't wait to see what's going down with Merton. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. This one was crazy. We definitely learned a lot, but it left us with a lot more questions. So if you don't want to miss the next episode and all the other shows we're watching, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe because it definitely helps us out. And make sure you follow the Instagram for pictures of us and our dogs. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Caleb, Shay, Jean, and Brian. You guys are the best along with all of our other supporters. Now, real quick, guys, we did want to mention that the bonus movie reaction for February is up on the Patreon. It's Don't Look Up with Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. It was really funny. We had a blast watching it. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction and vote on the next one, we'll leave a link to the Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.